I think similar to across the world, the standard of care for uh, for advanced stage diffuse large B-cell lymphoma continues to be RCHOP. I think for a large proportion of the patients, that's adequate therapy, and, and the cure rates are in the range of 60 to 65 percent. The challenging group, obviously, are those patients who aren't cured. So what we do know is that if you're not cured with frontline therapy, the chance of being cured with any salvage therapy or beyond is extremely low. So um, improving frontline therapy is, is hugely important. Um, right now in my own clinic, the only patients we elect not to treat with RCHOP up front are those with what we call double hit lymphoma. So patients who have a dual translocation of MYC and BCL2, because it seems quite clear that they definitely have a poor prognosis if they receive RCHOP. I, I think the data is a little bit discrepant in that you know, initial reports suggest that they did extremely poorly. Now I, I think that you know, there's some debate on how poorly they really do, but, but clearly I think RCHOP has been identified as insufficient for those patients. So we treat those patients currently with dose-adjusted EPOC-R as a alternative. Um, I'm not sure whether or not we know that it's going to be any better yet.